Hair cutting procedures, theory review to pass the state board written exam for cosmetologists and barbers. The principles of hair cutting are sectioning, combing, elevating or keeping it at zero degree elevation, and cutting. Areas of the head. Reference points are necessary guidelines to ensure balance within the haircut design. Reference points of the skull are parietal ridge, occipital bone, apex, four corners of the head. Areas of the head. Top, front, sides, nape, back, fringe. Lines and angles. A line is a stretch of dots from point to point that serves as a guideline. An angle is a space between lines that intersects at a given point. Straight lines for haircut. Horizontal lines. Lines parallel to the floor or left and right lines. Vertical lines from the ceiling to the floor or up and down lines. Diagonal lines. Lines on an angle that can connect dots positioned at the horizontal or vertical lines. Lines of sloping or slanting directions that are used to blend the hair in between vertical lines, like blending layers. Beveling and stacking. A cutting technique using a diagonal line with a hair design that has a slight increase or decrease in length. Elevation is the degree of lifting the hair to add volume or layers or graduation. 90 degrees, 45 degree, 180 degree, zero degree are examples of hair elevation. Sections are uniform divisions, partings of hair that are used for control and precision. Subsections are subpartings of sections. Graduation is layers. Graduation occurs when the hair is cut at a specific degree of elevation. Cutting line is the angle at which the fingers are held when cutting the line. Guideline or a guide is a section of the hair that determines the length of the haircut. There are two types of guidelines stationary and traveling. Stationary guideline is a hair guideline that stays in place and does not move. Haircuts with stationary guidelines have cut at the same angle or length like zero degree haircuts or blunt cut. Traveling guideline is a moving guide that travels along with the haircut section by section. Over direction happens when the hair is combed away from its natural falling position and once cut in that position produces graduated layered haircut. Client consultation, important step, a conversation between the hairstylist and the client before haircut to find out the length, the degree of elevation, and the desired style for the client. What is discussed during client consultation, the desired look, the face shape, hairlines and growth patterns, hair analysis. Tools necessary for various haircuts, haircutting shears, texturizing shears, Razor, clippers, trimmers, sectioning clips, white tooth comb, tail comb, barber comb, styling or cutting comb. What to know about hair cutting shears? Steel shears are mostly manufactured in Japan, Germany and United States. Hardness of the steel determines if the shear can hold a hard edge for an extended period of time. Gouge is called the Rockwell hardness and should be at least 56 to 57. If it is higher than 63, the shear will be too hard and brittle to work with. Parts of the shear are cutting edge, pivot, adjustment knob, finger tang, ring finger hole, thumb hole. To maintain the shears, clean and lubricate them daily, adjust the tension and balance daily, disinfect after each use, Sharpen when needed. When purchasing shears, find one for your dominant hand. Find out how they were manufactured. Learn about the steel quality. Decide on the right blade edge. Be sure of the fit. Use them to see if they work for you. Settle on swivel thumb shear that is ergonomically correct. Learn about the service agreement. Compare prices and analyze the cost of the shears. Some are not worth as much as they are sold. Determine how many shears you need. In general, two cutting shears and one blending shear are recommended. Determine the handle design when purchasing shears. Full offset or crane grip, the most anatomically correct handle design. The position of the thumb grip is under the index finger. Offset grip. Moves the thumb forward so it is resting below the ring and middle finger. 
opposite grip. Forces the thumb underneath the ring finger and creates stress and pressure on the nerves and tendons of the hand. Look for custom shears that are ergonomically designed for you to avoid getting carpal tunnel syndrome. When holding your shears properly, avoid muscle strain in hands, arms, neck and back. Remove the thumb from the thumb grip and palm shears while combing the hair. Client sitting position during haircut. Position the client so she could sit straight. Client's legs should not be crossed. While doing the haircut, a hairdresser should slightly bend her his knees, but not lock them. Bend one knee to lean slightly. Stand in front of the section being cut. Hair cutting safety. Always palm the shears and razor when combing or parting the hair. Do not cut past your second knuckle. Take extra care cutting around the ears and the fringe area around the hairline. Use a razor guard when cutting with razor. Dispose of razor according to manufacturer's instructions or use a sharps container. Cutting curly hair. Remember that curly hair shrinks more than straight hair when it dries. Use minimal tension and white tooth comb when cutting curly hair. Don't use razor on curly hair. Use texturizing techniques instead like point cutting or freehand notching. When cutting the fringe, you can cut using stationary guide, cut long fringe with slide cutting, use a razor or scissors. When cutting with razor, hold it parallel to the subsection. Hold the razor at 45 degree angle. Avoid using it on coarse, wiry, curly or damaged hair. Always use a guard. Always use a new blade. Keep the hair wet. Never force the razor throughout the hair. Slight cutting is a method of cutting or thinning the hair that blends shorter length to longer length, is useful in texturizing, is done on wet hair and with sharp shears. Scissor over comb is great for tapering. Hair is held on place with the comb. The tip of the shears removes length. Works best on dry hair. Texturizing is a hair cutting technique to remove bulk. Texturizing techniques point cutting, notching, slicing, carving, slithering or effilating, freehand notching. Texturizing tools razor, thinning shears, scissors. Clippers and trimmers are used for shorter haircuts and tapers. Could be electric or battery operated. Are used with or without guards. Tips for clipper cutting. Work against the natural growth pattern. Work in small sections. Determine the comb angle. Blunt haircuts are also known as zero elevation cut. One length haircut. For blunt haircut, establish a weight line where the hair ends hair together. Use a stationary guide that could be horizontal or rounded. Graduated haircut. For this haircut, traveling guide is used and it has a look of graduated shape or a wedge. It is usually cut at the most common elevation of 45 degrees. The ends of the graduated haircut appear to be stacked. Layered haircut. Hair is cut with elevation or over direction commonly at a 90 degree elevation or higher. It creates movement and volume. Traveling guide is commonly used for layered haircut. Long layer haircuts are achieved by cutting hair at a 180 degree elevation. It creates volume. Long layer haircut could be combined with other cuts. Layers increase from short to longer towards the perimeter. General hair cutting tips. Perform a client consultation to ensure an understanding of the hair cutting style between you and the client. Take consistent and clean partings. Use even tension. Maintain even moisture all over the hair to be cut. Cross check the haircut for balance. Use the palming technique for scissors while combing the hair. Always use a guard when cutting with razors. Use either a stationary or traveling guide. Do a razor haircut on wet hair. Check for cuts and abrasions on scalp before starting a haircut. Safety precautions. Check for cuts and abrasions on scalp before starting a haircut. Drape the client with a towel and plastic cape when shampooing for haircut. Use a sanic strip to protect the client's skin to come in contact with the cape during the haircut.